welcome to yet another edition of Reckless Eating Shorts, aka We Shorts. Chuck Rowan, Matt Zion, once again. And, <coughs> Wait, I'm not. <coughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I had it in here too. I'm like trying to talk without yeah. having to cough. <laughs> it, was the, it was the combination of the Jack Slings and the Doritos. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say you've gotten you've gotten very good, Chuck. Oh, thank you. You're not up. Well, we haven't done chugging yet, though. Oh, I know. That yeah, could be your downfall. Yeah. So, all right. What are we doing today? Today we are doing it Canada Dry Cranberry di Ginger Ale. So you almost said cranberry dick. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so this is a bit of a like a lot of people out there will probably be like, oh, that's nothing or whatever. Because uh, we tried regular Canada Dry, and yeah. I hate I hate ginger ale. I hate I'm not a big fan of ginger ale, but I do like Canada Dry. I just don't like ginger Schwetz ale in general. Too. I don't want to touch a sweaty man. But <laughs> any ginger ale, I hate it. And I know the like the one person that loves ginger ale, it's like gin and tonic or gin and whatever, is Old Man Tom. Old Man Tom oh, yeah. lets his drink of choice. Like either that or the, uh, what is it, the Clamato drink or whatever that you can, oh. not the Bud Light one. Like uh, what is it when you do the uh, tomato, the tomato Bloody drink? Mary? Bloody Mary, there you go. Bloody Mary or gin and tonic, he loves that when we go to Vegas and it pisses me off every time because they're both so gross. I can't do gin and tonic, I've tried it once. <laughs> no. It's it's, yeah, he. I remember one time we were doing like a drinking night when I used to live with him, and he made like two drinks of the same gin and tonic, and he's like, "This is it's perfect." Like he drinks like it's perfect. I'm like, "Oh God, it's like yeah. rubbing alcohol. Yeah. It's disgusting." I hate ginger ale, but I saw this walking around in Ralph's, and it's the cranberry ginger ale. So I'm, I'm this is an experiment to see if maybe I could like it if it's flavored. flavored. Yeah, so let's pop it open. Plus this thing's huge, and I need to get rid of it. Oh God, super. Oh oh. <laughs> I do not like ginger ale though. Isn't ginger ale is what you're supposed to drink when you have like an upset stomach, right? Yeah. All right. We're using our little shot cups that we bought for. We bought these for. Um, I don't remember one of the one of the shows. One of the challenges. Jeff had me get these, and I lost them. And then we did the show without them, and then I found them, and now I've <laughs> got to use them for something. So, all right, here we go. It's better. It's a lot better. Not bad. Not a big fan of a cranberry taste, but it's not that bad. I've tried and tried to like cranberry, but I can't do it. But you know, I have no problems with this though. Well, because I like uh, like cranberry ocean spray is really good, and especially like the diet ones are the best. I actually think regular cranberry is too intense, but if you yeah. get like the diet versions, it's perfect. Uh, That's really good. That's yeah. I don't I think know. With the mix with the carbonation, it do people gives a really just good drink taste. this stuff though, like casually, or is I'm, it only to mix? Pro I'm pretty sure there's people that drink it casually. My yeah. dad used to. I could to. drink this casually. Like I could, I could down the rest of that. I'm not going to, but I could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not bad though. It's literally mm -hmm. that the it holds back that weird like alcohol or um no um what do you call it? rubbing alcohol taste. It, oh, yeah. it holds it back. Uh, I give it a three. It's not bad. And I give it the same a three. Mm -hmm. A lot better than that regular. Shit. So what is your guys' favorite weird drink that you enjoy but everybody else tends to hate? What would you say yours is? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you got me thinking right on the spot there. Well, <laughs> well, actually, no, I don't. I don't think I have one. Yeah, everybody has one. <laughs> <laughs> I like Four Loco. Four Loco is mine. That most of our friends, I think, out of all of our friends, the only other person that really are two people that really enjoy them is Reckless and Havoc. That's it. Everybody else absolutely loathes them. Uh, I can I can give or take on it. <laughs> you know, you're, yeah, we get Sandman, Chuck, when you drink that. Yeah. So I only give you that in Vegas from now on. Yeah. So. All right, guys, there you go. I hope Thank I don't you. get arrested. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So far, none of us have, and I'm surprised. Yeah. They're pretty lenient. I, that leads me to one really quick story before we take it out is, um, well, okay, go ahead. Go and talk. Oh, yeah, no. Speaking of stories, the not the last time, but the year before, the they were filming that, yes, yes, yes. What? They were <laughs> filming that Vegas Vegas Strip. Okay. And you see these oh, cops just canceled, wrote, right? Oh, did it? Yeah, I think so. Uh, but yeah, like these cops are just being dicks and just like arresting people for, you know, I didn't see what they were doing well, wrong. Well, because with their, you know. technically you can drink in Vegas, but you're not supposed to be drunk in public in Vegas. So they can arrest you for public drunkenness. They just can't arrest you for an open container in public. But like, um, they pretty much they take a blind eye to it. Like, as long as you're not passed out in the street or, like, punching somebody or stealing, yeah. they'll let you go. Because my story is kind of revolves around that. Is, um, it was uh, me and Tom were in Vegas, like, I think it was three years ago, and we had been lost from the group. What, what happened was we always get to the room before, and everybody just gets trashed in the room. And then you leave to go, and it's, it's like, the worst thing you could possibly mm -hmm. do. Everybody's, like, blacked out, and they're going out to gamble. But Tom and I were walking down the strip, and he was to the point where he was like, he had his shoulder against the wall and he was holding him up as he was like slowly moving forward. And I was trying to like get a path for him to walk. 
and we saw the cops walking towards us, two police officers, and uh, and we played that we call it the um, the the sober game, and so what we do is you just you're like okay, three, two, <laughs> one, and you try to act sober, and you always fail within a matter <laughs> of seconds, like and so like we did that, we literally I know we did the thing right in front yeah. of them as they were walking by, and like they got to where you are, like we're this close, and we both started giggling and laughing, <laughs> easily could have been arrested on the spot, like no uh -huh. question, they didn't care, they just kept walking, they're like I'm sure they see so many drunk people in Vegas, they do not give a anymore yeah yeah so all right well there you go right. i want to do another vegas trip soon we got to try to revolve it around uh tom's a baby yeah yeah or just take tom's baby with us yeah yeah put a baby on the table that's good luck <laughs> you come up. I want all the baby on the red. <laughs> you enjoy where's back <laughs> Like, well, At least gonna kill me. <laughs> the, the, the big, like, the, like, the casino has like a back room of babies. There's like, oh, no, too many of these fing things. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Toss it in the closet. Reckless eating! Reckless eating!